Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, so let us take another problem. Here it is asked to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region, it is not each. Find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region in the second quadrant. So, we have the region in the second quadrant and that is bounded above by the curve y equal to minus x cubed. So, you must plot the curve y equal to minus x cubed in the second quadrant below by the x axis. So, there is second quadrant and x axis negative axis is there and on the left by the line x equal to minus 1. So, that means the region is lying to the right of x equal to minus 1 line and we want to revolve it around or about the line x equal to minus 2. So, that is how it looks y equal to minus x cubed in the second quadrant. So, this is origin, we have minus 1 here on the x axis and minus 2, you are it is to be revolved about the line x equal to minus 2 and what is the reason? It is uh, to the left of y equal to minus x cubed curve in the second quadrant, below by the x axis, so it is x axis left by the line x equal to minus 1. So, this is the reason which ever is shaded here. And this is about the line x equal to minus 2. So, that means uh, it is parallel to y axis, right. So, that means it will be uh, the integral should be expressed in terms of y's, right. It is parallel to the y axis. So, line x equal to minus 2 means it is parallel to y axis, it is revolving around y axis. Therefore, you would need uh, to express everything in terms of y now. Okay. So, if you choose any y inside this region corresponding to that choose any point y on the y axis, then corresponding to that you have outer radius inner radius, but now they have to be measured from the line of line of uh, the axis of revolution. So, axis of revolution is x equal to minus 2. Therefore, the outer radius will be this length and the inner radius is this length. So, inner radius is length is between minus 2 to minus 1, the length is 1 and the outer radius is uh, this is this point which is on the curve y equal to minus x cubed. So, once you take one y, your x will be equal to minus y to the power 1 by 3. So, that is the x coordinate here for this, it is the x coordinate, this is minus y to the power 1 by 3. So, therefore, the outer radius is, uh, it is total is 2 now from this to this. So, it is 2 minus of uh, y to the power 1 by 3, right, 2 minus y to the power 1 by 3. So, that is really the uh, outer radius, it is this length. So, you have r of y is 2 minus y to the power 1 by 3 and small r y is 1, it is of course this and the limits of integration for y, so it is clearly from 0 to 1, maximum is 1. It is in fact, below it is with the x axis, so intersection of y equal to minus x cubed with the x axis that gives the below limits and the top limit comes from its intersection with x equal to minus 1. So, y equal to minus x cubed and x equal to minus 1 gives that limit as y equal to 1. Therefore, we have the volume as 0 to 1 
and phi times r of y square 2 minus y to the power 1 by 3 square minus small r y square which is 1. And we expand it so that gives uh, here it is 4 minus 1 which is 3 and this is 2 times 2 it is 4 times y to the power 1 by 3 and this is y to the power 2 by 3. Now, we integrate so 3 gives integration as 3 y and y to the power 1 by 3 gives uh, y to the power uh, 4 by 3 into 3 by 4 so that is 3 1 4 cancels 3 times y to the power 4 by 3 and this is y to the power 2 by 3 so that gives uh, y to the power 5 by 3 by 5 by 3 so that gives 3 by 5 y to the power 5 by 3 and evaluated at 1 and 0 so at 0 it becomes 0 at 1 when you evaluate it is 3 minus 3 plus 3 by 5 so that is exactly 3 by 5 and the answer is 3 by 5 times pi. So, again we have to really start plotting slowly to understand what is asked in the story. Then it will be easier to find the outer radius and the inner radius of the washer and of course, the limits. So, let us take another problem. Here we want to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region in the first quadrant. So, we have the region in the first quadrant bounded above by the curve y equal to x square which is a parabola and below by the x axis and on the right by the line x equal to 1 and this region is to be revolved around x equal to minus 1. So, first let us plot the region it is y equal to x square the parabola and then uh, in the first quadrant. So, y equal to x square in the first quadrant means it passes through the origin. So, one below point is already x equal to 0 and then uh, on the right by the line x equal to 1. So, that also crosses the curve. So, it is the other point which is x equal to 1. Here it is x equal to 1 and it is y equal to x square. So, y is also equal to 1 that is the point 1, 1 comma 1. And now, this is to be revolved around the line x equal to minus 1. So, x equal to minus 1 again is parallel to y axis, then we have to express everything in terms of y. So, the limits for y is clear, it is from uh, 0 to 1 that is the limit of the integration. And what about the outer and inner radius of the washer? So, the washer will be something like this it is a circular disk here, but annular really this portion the white is not there. So, the outer radius is the total which is equal to minus 1 plus 1 which is it is giving 2 right the length is 2. So, r of y equal to 2 and what is small r of y it is this length and that is measured from this side to y equal to x square, but we want to express in terms of y. So, x is equal to root y in the first quadrant. Therefore, the inner radius is small r y equal to 1 plus root y. Now, you plug it in the formula our volume of the solid so generated is integral 0 to 1 that is the y limit integral 0 to 1 pi times r y square minus small r y square. So, that gives 4 r y square is 4 and this is 1 plus root y square. So, we expand it that gives 4 minus 1 which is 3 and this is minus 2 root y and this is root y square which is y and we integrate. So, that gives 3 y and 2 root y gives uh, it is y to the power 2 uh, y to the power half. So, its integration will be y to the power 3 by 2 times 2 by 3 and that is multiplied by 2. So, we get 3 times y to the power 3 by 2 it is not 4 by 3 it should be 3 by 2 and then uh, y which will give us uh, y square by 2 right. So, that is how the integral will look and it is to be evaluated from at 1 and at 0 and then subtracted out. So, verify that it is equal to 3 pi by 5.
of course, we can verify here it is 0 and at 1 it will be 3 minus uh, 3 plus uh, 1. So, it is really half and this is uh, half pi right is that correct. So, we get 3 to 3 y and uh, 2 root y. So, that gives y to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 and we have a 2 already. So, that cancels and that gives 1 by 3 not 3 it is 1 by 3 right. It is 2 already there was 2. So, 2 root y. So, we get uh, 2 times uh, 2 times uh, y to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. So, oh, that gives 4 by 3 right that gives uh, 4 by 3 4 by 3 is not here it is 3 by 2 and this one is really 4 by 3 and the other one is of course, y square by 2. So, when you evaluate at 1 first one gives 3 next one gives uh, 4 by 3 and next one gives uh, half. So, that is to be simplified which would uh, give uh, that is pi. So, 3 minus 4 by 3 plus half that is uh, so it is uh, 9 minus uh, 8 plus 3 right divided by 6. So, it is 3 into 3 9 minus 4 by this so 4 into 2 plus 1 gives 3. So, that is 9 minus 8 it is 4 by 6 which is 2 by 3 times pi right this would be the answer. Okay. So, there was some mistake here in the calculation in the original that is how the answer will be this 2 by 3 divided by uh, 2 pi divided by 3. Okay. So, let us take another problem. We want to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by the parabola y equal to x square and the line y equal to 1 about the line. There are two problems. First, it is the same region is to be revolved around y equal to 2 and the second problem the same region is to be revolved around y equal to minus 1. So, let us plot the region first. The parabola is y equal to x square which is plotted here and the line y equal to 1. So, that gives us the region right and it is to be revolved around y equal to 2. So, y equal to 2 will be somewhere here. It is to be revolved around this. It is parallel to x axis. So, you must find out the x coordinates right the limits for x and express the washer in terms of capital R x and small r x. So, take any x here. So, this is to be measured from y equal to 2. So, the capital R x is up to this and small r x is only here. So, this length is to be computed. So, this length is 2 capital R y will be equal to 2 and uh, capital R y it is 2 measured from this to this. So, it is 2 minus x square right it is 2 minus x square and small r x is of course, 1 up to this right. So, that gives us the answer as r x square minus r x square which is 1 minus 1 to 2. 2 minus x square square minus 1 dx and once you expand it that gives uh, 2 uh, 4 minus 1 which is 3 minus 4 x square plus x fourth and its integral is 3 x minus 4 x cubed by 3 plus x fifth by 5 evaluated at minus 1 and 1 and subtracted. So, that gives the answer as 56 pi divided by 15. Now, when you take y equal to minus 1, the same reason is to be revolved around y equal to minus 1. So, it will come something here about this line we want to revolve it. So, now again with one 
particular x we have to find out what is the outer radius and the inner radius. Now, it is to be measured from y equal to minus 1 right. So, again it will be total minus this distance. So, that b gives 1 plus x square and 2 total is 2 and 1 plus x square is this one right for any x it is y equal to x square and here it is length is 1. So, it is 1 plus x square that gives small r x as 1 plus x square r x equal to 2. And then we plug in the formula we get minus 1 to 1 pi times r x square minus small r x square which is 4 minus 1 plus x square whole square and we simplify that to 64 pi divided by 15. 